This is Big Steam 5344 here. Today I'm going to be showing you my brand new Legacy Steam Engine. And out of all of them, I think I got the best one here. Uh, this is the JLC Legacy Big Boy 4A84. Uh, this one is 4024. That can zoom in here. I can show you. You probably already know, but. 424, there you go. And I picked this up for 12, 1200, brand new, uh, only displayed, and he, and uh, there's no wear on the roller, so it wasn't run. And today I'm going to be doing a review, the first one ever done on a JLC Big Boy. And this is the video here, so let's get started. Okay, let's start with lighting. What's the standard lighting here is the headlight with the number board on the side of it, 4024. And then it's got these really big number boards, which are really cool. And then they got like a little little hand handle on them too. It's got green marker lights. If you can, you probably already know, unless you're colorblind. And the camera likes to dim on those, hmm. but they're not really bright. But they make it look really good. Believe me, I have a small semi scale MTH Real King Big Boy, and it looks like shit compared to this. Pardon the language. So, to go over to the back, or actually move up the engine here, is it's got work lights on both sides. Here's, there's uh, six of them one here, one here, and then there's one under here, and then it goes, and then the same on the other side. This is correct. This is the way they're supposed to be with the light under there, which is good. And then it's got two cab lights. I think, if I remember seeing it. Yeah, there's two of them. And then a flickering firebox, if you can see, barely. Then move to the back of the engine, you got two really bright red marker lights. And then there's this little light above here, I'm not sure what it is. And then it's got a reverse light, which is an LED, but it's not super bright like an LED. And it's it's pretty mellow. It's kind of like the one up there, but it's a little wider. So we move back up the engine. Let's go over uh, pipes and detailing here. Little hidden objects and stuff. Ow, Charlie horse. Shit. Oh, perfect time to do that, doesn't it? Right during a review. Okay. While well, I situate that, here we go. All big boys and challengers and whatever engines that have. Uh, swing out scare coupler this one does too and you can you can change it out with this uh, o-gauge dummy coupler which I will not do with this engine because it's too nice sorry uh, pain in my foot okay so to move up up here this is right this if you notice if you're wondering why there's no radiators here like on the 4014 4012 well the reason is the late the early models had those and then I'm not exactly sure why they changed it, but but uh, the later models, uh, the the 20s, I think, they moved the number, uh, moved the radiators under the headlight. So that's pretty prototypical right there for the 4024. And this is the last big boy ever built in prototype in life, not this particular engine. So to move in, Pete, you probably didn't know this, but I was snooping around. Here, later, let me grab my flashlight. It's got a firebox detail, little screen, and it's not like thin screen. It's pretty thick. It doesn't bend easily. It's pretty, really thick, and it, I think it's brass since it's the color of brass. But I don't know, but hidden detail right there, and then you can see the smoking in the background. But that's a pretty nice little detail they added there, and this pretty clear uh, smoke box is on the 21010 I think if yeah it is on there and it's not I don't think it's on the CC2 but I think it might be but to move down the locomotive now it's got really big bulky uh uh what are these uh steam pipes or some sort and there's three of them this one on the right on the right side here is and it moves with the engine so it articulates and then there's one on the other side, and then there's this huge one right in the middle. It's, uh, it's called a main steam pipe, and it goes up up into the engine. 
So, it's a big pipe. And then you move up to it, there's the air tanks with uh, with words, hydro test, 210 pounds, 12, 20, 44, this is the date. And then, really nice wheels. To move up the back, you got amazing amount of detail right here with the, uh, with the uh, cylinder that moves the uh, valve. The eccentric gear, which is the valve gear, which changes the direction. It doesn't operate, which I'm trying to tell Lionel how to do it, but I have a good idea how. But you see all the little pipes and stuff that go in there. Just tons of little pipes. They're all separately applied. None of this is uh, casted into the frame. To move down it, you got your fire uh, firebox. It does have firebox light, but it doesn't turn on until the train is actually moving. So. Move back, you got, I think that's a steam generator right there. So there's two of them. No, wait, one. There's just one on that side. And then you got the safety valves. There's two of them. Now, the problem is with the, I, from where, when we're trying to get these things, is that a lot of them, a lot of the owners broke the safety valves off. And you can't put them back on once you break them off. They screw in, they're separate. You just unscrew them, and then they come out, both of them. And if you do own a big boy or perhaps to get one, make sure you tell him the guy who you buy it, buy it from is to take those off and put them in a bag and set them in the box or they will break during shipping. Luckily, the guy knew how, what he was doing and he did, he did pack them correctly. So, more detail here. The cab window glasses, they do move. If I can find my little toothpick, which is on the ground. Glass moves. And it sometimes opens because of the engine vibrates from the motor for some reason. And then you got your pilot, or not your walk, not the pilot, but the walkway across the tender in the engine. It doesn't stick like the Alleghenies, but it's just freely, just hangs there. And then the firebox on this one doesn't open sadly, but uh, that really, it's really sad. So to move to this, the back here, I'm going to wait until the coal. These hatches. Easy access to volume, uh, signal sounds and rail sounds on and off, and then this one's just blank. So, and on this detail, I like the little wires that they added on, just to make it look like it's actually there. It's little wires hanging under the marker lights, that's pretty cool. And then they got this little bar under the coupler that hangs down, which is even cooler. And then this really nice metal ladder, really nice. So to move up, this coal load right here actually comes out. So I, I've been practicing how to get this out without having to stick something up there, push it up. So coal load comes out, it's metal. And then they have the really nice detail in here. Look at this. Look at that. Detail. It's got uh, Archimedes screw in here, or a screw arger I think that's pronounced. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then it's super detailed in here. Now because of this particular detail, it only has one speaker. If it wasn't there, if it was like an oil, like it was covered and there was no detail in here, it would be a two speaker and a lot of room. So it's everything is crammed right back here. Speaker right in the middle of the, uh, of the tender and then the boards and the rail sound system and stuff. It's very cramped in there. I took it apart and put a battery in there uh, earlier today. And then that just slides back on. There. So, and then can't tell, but the door, the the coal door bay doors here, they open and stuff. They push like a pencil or something to take the coal out, like it shows in the instructions. But yeah, it's got a wireless tether, and then it has this clip on top of it to keep it from um, sliding off, which is a really good idea, I have to say. If you can see that bend right there, this clip. This thing is packed with detail. You have no idea. It, you have to see it in person. So another one I forgot to do was this little hatch. Don't worry, I did that with my finger. It goes up there and it holds it up and then it's just a air hatch. But I like to keep it up at a low angle. There you go. So, moving on to the driving rods. This maybe 
it has 10 minutes, so I'm trying to keep this in the 15, it's the new time. Okay, so we got driving rods here. These are really nice. They're just, see how it grabs around the whole piece? That's a really nice touch. Thank you for the uh, work lights there. And it's got this attached to the valve operating reverser, which it doesn't move. It's not attached to it, but these little linkage move with the uh, with this. And then the same thing over here. This linkage moves with this. And another thing to point this out, I've noticed on this all models too. If you're not careful, if you pick it up wrong like this, you'll break them. You have to pick them up. The way I figured it out is you pick it up like this, thumb here, and then your middle finger over here on the opposite side, and then pick it up, and then use your other hand, your left hand, to pick it up like that. And that is the way to pick this particular engine up. So, if you get a big boy, there you go. So to move to the top here, I might have gone over the, the piping up here, but really nice piping detail up here. So, and then this. This is die cast metal. And it has a magnet on it, so it stays down. And then you move to the stacks. The stacks on this thing are huge. These are massive stacks. These are just ginormous. Huge stacks. Compared to my thumb, look how big those are. It's not a good uh, comparison there, but that's pretty bad. Those are big ass stacks. And then move to the op to the opposite side. It's it's more there's more uh, little the uh, little more piping and stuff. Very well done, super well done. Okay, I do not plan on taking this locomotive apart. I already took it apart once because it's making a weird noise, and I did not want to do that because it's brand new. But things have to be done to fix things. So there you go. Um, I am going to do a quick, well actually I don't have enough time to do it, so I'm going to do another video here of just running, so, Ooh. well, another video, more time gone through the day. Okay, so there you have it, my JLC Big Boy, it looks like it's my dad's, but, oh well, I like to say mine. So there you go, my dad loves this engine too, this is like his mass is prize piece we've only had it for a day now so cut it short there so this is the engine uh, if you guys want me to go over any other parts just tell me and I'll make another video gladly and I'm gonna do a lot of videos of this just like the Agony but probably more so there you go uh, JLC big boy big steam 5344 here and tune into video number two of the running so see ya